hey guys good afternoon welcome to my youtube channel my math and um i just this is my first youtube video so please guys please hit the notification button so that you will get notified anytime i upload a new video and please subscribe now we're going to talk we're going to be talking about differential equation which is a very important topic in mathematics so let's look at the meaning of differential equation now what is a differential equation now a differential equation is simply an equation that shows the relationship between two variables now what are those variables it can be x y x and y x and t any letter you can think of so now a differential equation shows the relationship between two variables x and y and also the different the differential coefficients with respect to x and also with respect to y so what am i trying to say a differential equation is an equation between an independent variable x and a dependent variable y and a differential coefficient with respect to x and y now what do i mean take for example this is a differential equation when i write the y the x plus y equal to x squared now this is a differential equation y because this is a differential coefficient of y with respect to x then this is a variable y and also a variable x so i can call this a differential equation because i'm seeing the relationship that exists between two different variables and their differential coefficient is that understood now i move to order of a differential equation now what is the order of a differential equation the order of a differential equation is simply the highest derivative in that differential equation now in our basic differentiation differential topics we have derivatives we have first order we have, we have second order we have third order now what do i mean take for example this is an equation this is x squared plus three now you are asked to differentiate to first order so this is dy dx is equal to 3x squared now this is called the first order differential equation because we and we just differentiated only once now you can be asked to differentiate twice or thrice then we call those higher order derivatives then we have we can have we can differentiate it again which is d differentiating with respect to x differentiating dy dx with respect to x this is what i'm actually doing i'm differentiating dy dx again with respect to x so from here i also have 6x so you get so as i move on and move on and move on i have higher order derivatives derivative so the highest the highest derivative involved in the differential equation is what we will term it as what the order of that differential equation now take for example i write the x square equals the x the square y over the x square plus dy dx plus 3y equals 0. now this is a differential equation now what is the order of this differential equation like we said the order of a differential equation is given by the highest derivative involved in that equation so what is the highest order derivative involved in this particular equation and that is this because looking at this this is first order and this is second order so this is the highest order derivative present in this particular equation because it's the second order now let's take another example we have third order derivative then we have something like this then we have 3xy equals zero now the order of this differential equation you can see it here which is open very clearly is this because why this is the highest derivative in this particular equation is that understood now we move to degree of a differential equation now what is the degree what is the degree of a differential equation now the degree of a differential equation is just simply now if we can choose to write a differential equation in form of a polynomial now what am i talking about for example i can say the y dx raised to power 2 plus y equal to x now 
looking at this stuff, I wrote the differential coefficient. I gave the differential coefficient a power, which is what? 2. Now, looking at this, this is in form of a polynomial. Because a polynomial you can have a polynomial, a, a polynomial usually have a decreasing power from n to a decreasing power from n to n minus one, like a decreasing power from if it's starting from two from three and to move down three two one and that and that and that. So this is a form of a polynomial. So the highest power or the power of the highest order derivative present in that particular differential equation is what we call the degree of the differential equation. Now, what am I trying to say? For example, you have a differential equation of the x y, the x square y, the x square plus the y is to power three plus y equals zero. Now, looking at this particular differential equation, we want to have, we want to check out. The degree of the differential equation like we said the degree of the differential equation is the power of the highest order derivative present in that particular equation so now how do we note out the power of this highest order the power of the highest order derivative now look at looking at this differential equation what is the highest order derivative present in this particular equation is this this is the highest order derivative present in this in this differential equation. So the power of the highest order derivative, which is what? 1. So I can say the degree of this differential equation is having a first degree. Or I can call it a first degree differential equation. Now let's take another example. For example, I have 3 dx squared y all over 3 x square raised to power 2 plus dy dx raised to power 4 plus y equals 3x now for example i have this differential equation second derivative of y to respect to x first, first other derivative then y equals 3x now for example, I have this particular equation and we are asked to find the degree of this differential equation. How are we going to find the degree of this differential equation? Now, looking at this, this is having a power of 2, this is having a power of 4. Then, now, like I said, the degree of a differential equation is the power of the highest order derivative present in that particular differential equation. So, what is the highest order derivative first in this particular equation? This is this because this is a second order compared to a first order so this is the highest order derivative so the power of the highest order derivative present in this particular equation is what is 2 so i can say this differentially this dif differential equation is having what a second degree or or i can say it is a second degree differential equation so is that understood so in case you are writing down the degree of a differential equation is the power of the highest order derivative in the equation is that understood now we go to type types of a differential equation now what are the types of differential equation that we are going to talk about now we're going to talk about two types of differential equation we're going to talk about the ordinary differential equation and the partial differential equation now on this uh, on this on this video we are going to we are going to be based on ordinary differential equation ODE which has a short form ODE now let's let's take an example of an ordinary differential equation so an ordinary differential equation is what is basically what we have been basically what what we have been talking about since the beginning of this topic let's take some basic example ordinary differential equation include the x square y plus the y dx 9x equals 0 this is an ordinary differential equation basically an ordinary differential equation is a differential equation that has a simple basic relationship of 
two variables two variables now what am i trying to say for example y is a function of x now from this particular equation we can create a differential we can create an ordinary differential equation because we are having just a variable which is a function of another variable am i making myself clear or let me put it in a more simpler thing. let me put it in a more simpler thing a, an ordinary differential equation is just an equation is just an equation that involves ordinary derivative of dependent variable with respect to a single independent variable now this is a dependent variable and this is a single independent variable let me write it in a more simpler equation this is x squared plus 3 now this is a dependent variable and this is an independent variable so from this particular equation i can form an ordinary differential equation because it is just basically showing the relationship between an ordinary derivative and just showing the relationship between because it will show me the relationship between an ordinary derivative of a dependent variable with respect to a single dependent variable just like what we have here so an ordinary differential equation is just basically showing me a simple relationship between an ordinary derivative of just y with respect to x is that understood so now let's take for example partial differential equation now this partial differential equation are basically created when we have a function which is which can be a function of two functions now what am i trying to say for example i'm having y i'm having y um, which is a function of u and also u a function of x so basically i have a partial differential equation when i am considering two variables and when i'm considering when i'm considering two complex variables now looking at this this is two variables here we have two variables we have y which is a dependent variable and u which is an independent variable and this particular u is also a function of another variable which is what x so i can simply say that partial differential equation involves partial derivative with respect to more than one independent variable now we get if you look at this particular expression here i'm having one dependent variable and two independent variable which is u and which is x so a partial differential equation is just basically the is, a, is an equation that contains the derivative of one dependent variable and two independent was variable for example let's take this particular equation for example we have dy du dx plus d square u dy square equals zero now this is a partial differential equation why because they are basically this sign now or we all know that from if you can remember our differential equation we did in let me, let me say in a let's say in a in your higher level of in your first year study of mathematics you should be taught a partial if you taught partial differential equation then we all know that partial differential equation has this symbol a bent d so when looking at this particular equation you don't need any further explanation that this is right this is a partial differential equation because of the symbol you get so now a partial differential equation like i said we have two independent variable and one dependent variable am i making myself clear now we go to classification of the of differential equation